Hi there, Gia. Hello, Keisha. Good evening to you. Uh, and and to you, we'll stop playing what smells long enough to do our to talk about General Hospital. Yeah, I guess the world doesn't really need to know that you're you're searching for a smell in your home. Something smells <laughs> over in that corner. What is it? What is it? Will you shut that door, please? Thank you. Oh, sorry. Okay. Okay, now we can talk about him. He's gone. Um, <laughs> Does he smell? <laughs> yeah, maybe he smells. I got him that nice cologne for his birthday. No, no. It's probably just something something damp that got left there. Sure. Anyway, sure. we can something talk about General damp. Hospital instead of that. If you want. Okay. All right. Well, I think the highlight of the last two days. Let's see if you can guess what I think what the highlight was. Maybe it's not as vivid in your mind since you were out. Well, is it a real me. highlight or is this sarcasm on your part? No, it's it's an actual highlight, Gia. An actual highlight. Well, it was from today, today, really, not not from today. Let's see. We were yeah. at the pool a little bit mm -hmm. with the Curtis birthday crew. Mm -hmm. We were in the bar a little bit with mm -hmm. Jordan and Zeke. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We were, was it when Nee put the ring up on the, on the mantle? <laughs> no, although it looked much cheaper on the mantle than it did on her finger. On her finger? <laughs> that yeah. wasn't it. Okay. Was it when mm -hmm. Ava told Nina to just tell the truth? No. 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 Was I it, think you. Was it when Ned, when they said that Ned was improving? <laughs> no, this is a good recap. Though. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Why don't you just tell us? Cause I. I'm sorry, G. I didn't mean to put you through that. It was it was little Leo. Leo was back. Oh right, Leo was back. That's right. Okay, yeah. Sorry, I kind of I'd kind of spaced on that, but yeah, he, yeah. It was nice to see him. He looks very tiny. Like he, he did. Grown. I he know, very but small. He looked as cute as we remembered, and I was so yeah. happy that they didn't like somehow recast him. You know, to be like a twenty year old or something. Right. Right. That that instant aging of the yeah. children on the soap. Uh -huh. No, they've got a gem in him. Don't let him go. If you're listening, don't, don't <laughs> let that one go. Unless he wants to go, he might want to go at some point. Yeah, but let's try to discourage that for yeah, a while. Yeah. <laughs> and I even, I even enjoyed like Cody was brushing Comet's forelock and that was kind of sweet. Um, yeah, yeah, I love it. Comet when he was like resting his chin on like the gate. <laughs> he looked like, "Are you fucking kidding me?" <laughs> Another I have scene. To watch this stuff. I have to yeah. Listen to these. And who is boys. that woman? God, she's a yeah, woman. she's awful. Yeah. yeah, but I still enjoy her. Why do I enjoy Tracy? I don't know. Um, because she's know. so fully Tracy. She just comes in and yeah, yeah, like just you know like blasts everyone maybe i want to yeah. do that maybe that's what it is like yeah it's like if you could have that one day a week where you could just be on yeah you just know? go ahead and say what you're actually mm -hmm. thinking to mm -hmm. people and just yeah. yeah yeah without any real consequences i guess you know she's she doesn't really have anything to lose she provided my favorite line of dialogue of the past couple days okay go ahead i can't remember the first part of it but it was something about like she was telling Cody that, you know, he's on notice and she called blah, 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 Pony blah, blah, boy. Blah. Pony boy. Yeah. <laughs> uh -huh. Pony boy. Was that the name of a character in, um, not that was then, this is now, but something of that vintage. And the kid, the Eminem, Eminem. And it was like a little seventies young adult novel. Uh, about drugs, a little bit about drugs, and there and I, I don't, I don't know, gee, I don't know how I to think help you. There was you a character named Pony Boy. Well, aren't you a librarian? Sort of. <laughs> I was. Don't you but... know a lot of books? Well, the vintage I'm talking about, like it was the era of. Um, do you remember that was then? This is now. Yeah, like the S.E. Hinton books, the Outsiders. Yeah, and yeah stuff the like Outsiders. That. Yeah. Maybe it's the Outsiders. Was there a character uh -huh. called Pony Boy? Could have been, I guess. Let's see. Sorry, that just like, like came out of my brain, and now it's yeah, now it's stuck. Well, anyway, Bruce I Springsteen that. has a song called Pony Boy. Does he? I don't <laughs> oh, know oh, oh! You were right, Gina. Well, Pony Boy from the Outsiders. 
Wowza. Look at that, people. Wowza. And you're sure you're not taking uh, one of the memory enhancing drugs that I can't no, remember in the fact, names I'm of. Taking, I'm taking a... Uh, taking Prevagen. The- yeah, I can't remember the name. Yeah. No, I'm taking I'm taking a, a statin, which a lot of people um, have concerns that they cause uh, brain fog and senility. And wow, um, there there have been studies where they took old people off their statins, and suddenly they didn't suddenly. have dementia. <laughs> Honest to God. Oh my God. And then they put him back on it and they developed dementia again. I'm like, oh, fucking hell. Jeez. So, well, this, yeah, I don't know. Maybe you're the exception that proves the rule. Or maybe you're just the one person who gets sharper. A little bit sharper. I've always been a little oppositional. So, maybe that. <laughs> thank you for not saying a little. Um. <laughs> you're welcome. I'll give you one of those. <laughs> <laughs> anyway i i did like the yeah i did like seeing leo again and yeah uh, comet and and i did like tracy storming in and mm-hmm. and putting cody on notice and yeah yeah um i mean that's i think i also like just sort of the throwback vibe that tracy brings of you know, we used to have a lot of quarter main stuff and the quarter yeah. main wealth was a very important right. aspect. And I feel yeah, like that was yeah sort of gone by the wayside. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I agree. But, and that was sort of like one of those staples of all the soap operas, right? Right. The the family that was the, mm-hmm. the wealthy. And, you know, there was a lot of social status kind of stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's kind of been lost a little bit. Yeah, um, a little bit. Uh-huh. I mean, maybe that's a good sign. In, maybe, in yeah. Reality in real society, I don't know. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, anyway, um, but, yeah, can I tell so you a scene that. I just hated? Sure. Now that you've given your highlight. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, first I'll tell you something I just hate. Um, I'm a little claustrophobic. Okay. And and that extends like we have a van that that my husband built like a, a sleeping pallet yeah i saw it. that i saw that yeah mm, and it's very close to the ceiling yes and, and so it feels like a coffin and i kind it of freak does. out sometimes yeah. and, and he sleeps on the side where it's like he's totally enclosed by me and then the back doors uh-huh. like, I don't, I, there's no way i could do that i'm like oh, yeah my God, you know? yeah uh-huh. Anyway, I have a little claustrophobia going on, and it even extends to people like oh, oh, trouble, <laughs> trouble. Oh, um, it extends to people like holding me and not letting me go. You know? Yeah, like, yeah. I think I see where this is going, but and I, go ahead. And I really despise it when like Captain Kirk on Star Trek grabs a mm. woman by their upper arms. Yeah, it's supposed to be like yeah. this kind of sexy embrace or something but i'm always uh-huh. thinking well that's gonna bruise that's gonna uh-huh. <laughs> and mm-hmm. today mm-hmm. Uh, our local small town hero drew yeah. <laughs> had yeah. carly in the upper arm grasp for a little yeah bit. yeah and i was like oh my god yeah there's just, really nothing gentle about that is there i couldn't hate him more um yeah mm-hmm. and then he's you know rattling off all the reasons why he's got to save the day and and be the one Mm -hmm. to go to prison and it's like yeah it's i don't know yeah i know he's just like one big embodiment of like bro mansplain yeah it's he's always Uh, mansplaining everything like everything you know somebody else made reference to drew saving Oh, I think Nina said Drew saving yeah. uh, Willow's life. Like Drew saved her life. I know. I think it was Liesel. Yes, <laughs> Liesel did, and Liesel and serious... underwent the painful process mm-hmm. of mm-hmm. bone marrow extraction. Yeah, and... yeah, and and Trina was the one who sort of risked the most to you know get help. Right. That's true. So. Yeah. I mean, they all went, but why, like why Drew gets credit when it was Laura? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Of all the people. Yeah. Yeah. Valentine. I know. Gia. I know. 
I know. Yeah. I know. I need to let it go. But um, well, I know it. It makes me feel good that it's not just me, you know, bashing. No, Drew. but we may influence each other in a bad way. <laughs> maybe, we maybe. have done that in the past. <laughs> maybe we have. <laughs> We've made a few bad decisions <laughs> together here and there. I can't even recall them That's now. It's possible, but, but, sure but here, look where we are now. <laughs> I know. We're on top mm -hmm. of the world now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sitting on yeah. The yeah. You know, I also thought, um, speaking of claustrophobia, um, and I guess this isn't claustrophobia so much as just like suffocating, which is, I guess, a cousin of claustrophobia. Yeah. It's adjacent. But <laughs> uh, Stella and just like sort of trying to suck the youth oh, out of God. Trina, you know. Yeah, I know. And they all I, just overwhelmed her. And yeah, um, they did. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I felt for Trina a little bit there. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah. I, I think Marshall actually kind of came off as a more sensitive creature. Than yeah, he was. Them. He was playing it much cooler than Stella is capable and, of. And kudos to him for deciding he needs to move out. It's like, yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, yeah. That was a nice little development there. Yeah. Good mm -hmm. good gesture, you know, actually mm -hmm. do something that might help those two. Mm -hmm. um, yep. Yeah. But yeah, I felt for Trina. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I guess the day before we saw it, we're a little confused because we only had two episodes, right? Cause yeah, we, had... we only had two again. Yeah. <clears throat> Mm -hmm. um, but we had a, a drunk Taggart. Yeah, and, we uh, did, didn't we? He was he was good again. I thought in that scene, mm -hmm. I felt his pain. Yeah, <laughs> I did too. It, it seemed like there were some good lines in there. I thought, you know, I wanted I wanted Jordan to sleep with him too. I thought that would. Be <laughs> just... I know yeah, it's Jordan like yeah. busted loose all over. You know. Yeah. Like... Yeah. I know there was some oh when she was in one of her scenes with Zeke um I think when she when he sort of figured out you know who she was and what she had done and she was sort of talking to him about um you know the sort of why maybe he should keep that to himself but there was part of that conversation where she was smiling I think it was that conversation and and I realized we'd never really yeah, we seen ha her smile really, yeah, that's true, <laughs> you know yeah, cuz she's always being the police yeah um, you know like super stern like i'm getting yep. this out of you kind of face yeah yeah, yeah and she looked true. almost like a different person so that was kind of a revelation yeah i'm glad they've decided to um, give her a different storyline yeah yeah mm -hmm. loosen her up a little bit um, mm -hmm. and i'm almost thinking i kind of like her and zeke together yeah yeah and he's all right I'm, I'm withholding yeah. judgment on him um, yeah yeah. He seems yeah. okay so far. Um, yeah. I don't know if the other shoe's going to drop, if there is a shoe, if any shoe yeah. has dropped. I yet. thought he, he seemed way back at the wedding scene when he mm -hmm. was introduced, he seemed a little menacing then. Yeah, I thought so too. And I don't And I remember. thought we were going to have like another mobster guy or something. Yeah, there, but... yeah. Uh -huh. But he's a high power attorney, I guess. So. Right. So, but yeah. And now he seems much less menacing. He does a lot less menacing. So yeah. anyway, I'm reserving judgment there, but yeah, that's mm -hmm. a that's a fairly interesting development. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. Tangled web. Yeah, um, a little bit. Porsche is seeming a little less likable with the whole Spencer. Yeah, her um, her new approach. Her hard line approach to Spencer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did like her Which, outfit though. Did you? I can't remember what it was. <laughs> it, it was a pretty print. So okay. Nice, nice you're, colors. Yeah, you're a big fan of the print. I am. I you're am a sucker too. for the print. <laughs> I am. I, I think we've established that. Um, um, what else did we have? Well, we could talk, I guess, about uh, Nina and Ava and uh, yeah, what Nina seems to be preparing to do, but we know that'll probably be thwarted, right, by something. You think? I, I don't know. Maybe not. I thought Ava was going to suggest um, smothering Ned. <laughs> I know. I kind of thought so, too. <laughs> I 
<laughs> like if these two put their heads together. Yeah, like, you know. oh no, talk about <laughs> bad decisions made together. You know? I know. Nina would like rush in, let me wake him up. Yeah. <laughs> you know? And then and then shut the blinds. <laughs> it, it seemed weird to me that Ned, um, that, that Sonny was involved in worrying about Ned. Yeah. Um, and that uh -huh. Sonny didn't think it was suspicious that Nina was that interested in Ned. Mm -hmm. You know, are they all that connected? They're not very connected. Right, right. Not that connected. I guess. I mean, he is he is close to Olivia and Brooklyn. Yeah, I guess. I thought it was weird even that but Brooklyn yeah. like called him. Yeah. I was like, yeah, it wouldn't, wouldn't and be my Dante, first time. I guess. You know, Dante. Um, yeah. His son, so... So you yeah. don't think you don't think uh, Nina's gonna go ahead and tell the truth? You, you think well, she won't have a chance know. to? Uh, I yeah, think Ned will probably know. wake up but not have the memory of it, and so she'll think, "Oh, I've got a little bit longer to." Yeah, that's possible. Definitely. Mm. Yeah, maybe he'll wake up thinking he's Mike from Nixon Falls. Yep. Yep. Or just another knows, cowboy. Yeah. Just mm -hmm. another pony boy. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Slowly everyone will start wearing flannel shirts yeah. and cowboy hats. Cowboy hats and yeah. Big belt yeah. buckles. Yeah. Uh, uh what else? I, it wasn't a terribly interesting couple days. It was mildly uh, right. we had was... Sasha and um Oh Gladys. Gladys. Yeah. yeah. And yeah. and the shady um <laughs> the shady, shady psychiatrist that's yeah. like a like a gambler a also. Gambler. <laughs> Have we you know. seen him before? Because I was like, I don't think so. No, know. I don't think we have. So that was an interesting little twist there. Yeah. Yeah. Which is kind of, I mean, it's good for Sasha, right? Because Gladys isn't going to be able to fill his head with nonsense. Yeah, but will will that give Gladys any some kind of leverage over the guy? Like make I him? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, she's I mean, the one who's a big loser, but maybe he's a big loser, too. Maybe she'll threaten to tell his wife or something. Maybe, or... yeah. Maybe just to try to get money to pay Selena or something. I guess or, that's possible. Yeah, to, yeah, to, to get him to Black say that Sasha bit. is not ready. Yeah. And um, Sonny knows there's something up with her. I, I would be yeah, fun yeah. for him to really figure out what, what, what she's done. How yeah, it's hard. She's, she's always done. done something. She's always done something. Yeah. She's a schemer. So, yeah. Mm. So uh, there was that. Yeah, but the both days had the the pool, the party at the pool, right? So think so. Well, yeah. Yeah. Party it was nice pool. to see Trina and Spencer again. It had been a while. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. And then Spencer mentioned that Laura and Kevin were both at work, but wh oh, when were they going to head out to? Chechnya? <laughs> Do you want to say that one more time? <laughs> Summer in Chechnya is it right. Nice? <laughs> we don't know. We don't know. We need yeah. to look up Chechnya and see what what it's all about. Yeah. So uh, I don't know if he knows they're planning on taking off. Maybe something will happen mm -hmm. to get of their plans because Ava didn't want Laura going you know into a dangerous right she doesn't want her poking around looking I don't know. for Nicholas just, we don't yeah. Well, yeah we don't know what the hell's happening there yeah and now yeah. Ava's making me nervous because she's poking around Sonny's place I know that's I gonna know. blow up yeah she needs to take Sonny into her confidence I think I, that would be definitely that thing. would that would be such a relief, but that's why that's probably not going to happen. You know, right. right. It would make us feel so much better. Right. They don't yeah. want us to feel better. No, they want us to suffer, Gia. Mm -hmm. We already suffer in real life. Yeah. We are <laughs> suffering. I don't know why I'm, I'm not suffering. I'm a little bit hungry. <laughs> I'm a bit uh, hungry and, and I got pretty hot and sweaty today. But other than that, I'm all right. Other than that, yeah, yeah. I know. I guess we can't complain, can we? No. Uh, uh, no. It's um, just funny here. Like when the weather turns, it's when you live in Maine, you're inside all winter, you know, and here, mm -hmm. like, you start staying inside in the summer. Yeah. So yeah. It's an odd, flipped yeah. upside down kind of world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When it's summertime here, or nice, you feel stupid for staying inside. Inside, right. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. Here, you feel all heat strokey. Heat strokey, yeah. When you get outside. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, so yeah. Speaking of outside here, somebody somebody bent bird feeder pole yesterday. Oh night. no, we're not going to have another bear incident summer. I think we? it must have been a bear or a very very enormous squirrel, like an eighty pound <laughs> <A> ginormous squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> Oh, are is you locking was... your car again? Uh, is this again? Uh, I'm going to have another incident where I <laughs> draw blood and <laughs> I think, I think shrieking it, from the bears. It was pretty bold because, you know, we're close to a road here. Um, it's not that secluded like the other bird feeder. So I don't know if it'll happen again, but, you know, I guess it's possible, mm -hmm. Gia. There so. Been. I Very guess we can we can tell the world that I was visiting my friend mm -hmm. and she had told me that she had bears that appeared at her bird feeder and I was very nervous about this. <laughs> you know, just coming mm -hmm. across a bear when I'm, you know, going to the car or whatever. And so mm -hmm. I was going to the car for a snack. I had left stuff out in the car and I remembered I had peanut butter out in my van and uh -huh. went to fetch the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. And slipped out of the van and hit my knee um, mm -hmm. to the extent that I drew a fair amount of blood. Oh, and like, yeah. Uh, yeah, and I was in severe pain and I thought I was going to pass out. And I was like, great, I'm going to pass out bleeding, <laughs> holding a jar of peanut butter by the bird feeder. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where they'll find me. Just, flash forward just, to a bear just, just like yeah, nibbling on your arm you know that says bait you know <laughs> oh, but i made oh, it yeah. inside and bears never appeared and i think you gave me a popsicle or something and, and uh, <laughs> we cleaned up my leg and it was oh, okay poor Gia. yeah gosh. but i really you know when you hurt yourself so badly like uh -huh. all, like a sudden pain mm -hmm. and you see stars and you almost pass yeah out, yeah you like, get oh, very shaky God, I, yeah I was yeah. like, I've got to get inside. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> At least I didn't have a jar of honey in the other hand. I so know. That, that spilled all over your face. Yeah. That would have been something. <laughs> 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 <Or> my face. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they would come out in the daytime at that that house, but I I don't no, think that's why I was here. so frightened. I was like, yeah, you can step out of the house without worrying about being attacked by a bear. Yeah, and then if oh. they grab me by the upper arms like Drew mm. or James <laughs> T. Kirk, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I would just swoon, wouldn't I? I would just have to swoon. Yeah, thanks. I think that's what you do. Yeah, I don't think just, you'd have a lot of fight in you. No, I wouldn't. Mm, probably not. Just go limp. Yeah. Anyway, well, anyway. that's that's a development. Keep your keep your critters close by. Yeah, you yeah. Know, your tiny your, your tiny snack sized critters. Anyway, I know. I think the bears generally, the ones I've observed anyway, are, are quite lazy. They just sit there and they bend the pole down. You know, so the bird feeders at their level where they're sitting. So. Mm. Oh, I don't know if they'd want to chase after a little critter. All right. Well, yeah. maybe stop buying the expensive bird seed. I think. <laughs> I know. And, and leaving the, the, leaving the half filled bag out on the porch. <laughs> oh my God. What is because that? that's yeah. gone too. <laughs> oh, seriously? The whole bag? Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> well, I'll probably find the bag done. deep in the woods somewhere. But oh, Anyway. Man. It's okay. fun, Gia. It's fun to have a little wildlife around here, you know. Okay. All right. Um, but anyway, that's not why you called. Let's see. Oh, right. We... All right. Yeah, General Hospital. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I feel like we've already exhausted everything. Um... A little bit. Oh, what did you think? Um, I guess there's not that much to say about this. The little fight between Olivia and Carly. Oh, uh, it felt a little manufactured. I mean, I... It could be explained away with, of course, Olivia is yeah. you know, kind of hysterical with worry and overwrought. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, because I, it took me a second to figure out what was so offensive about what Carly said. And I was like, yeah. oh, okay, I can kind of see. Yeah. I can mm -hmm. kind of see that. But, um, mm -hmm. well, and you know, Drew did punch Ned. <laughs> I mean, total sucker punch. It would be fun if they did some sort of a scan and said, you know, it looks like the brain damage actually came. 
earlier. <laughs> you know, that's why he was yelling and skipping around the pool. Mm -hmm. Totally not himself. Did you notice? Yeah. The other personality changes. <laughs> that's right. Well, he's yeah. He's wearing an odd suit. It was a, a plaid. It was a um, plaid. We'd never seen him in that before. Yeah. It's like something Wayne Brady might wear. Yeah, he, or a little bit of like Mad, Mad Men era or something, you know? Mm, uh -huh, mm -hmm. yeah. hmm. I'm still thinking about the Outsiders. Though. Was the Outsiders mm -hmm. the one where there was like, uh, was there a character called Eminem that was like, a, did drugs or, or was it more <laughs> like a gang? Was it, it was more like a gang thing, wasn't kind it? Kind of, yeah. Let's see. I'm going to have to look up other I... novels from that era because they, they all made an impression on me. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Let's Lisa see, Bright and Dark. Do you remember that one? Yes, I do. Yeah, there were a <laughs> lot of... <laughs> like a really somber, dark teen novel. Yeah, I was going to say a lot of those teen novels were pretty dark you and know like the dark, yeah. thematically and everything they change so much from like the intermediate level you know like up to age 12 where you got your like you know charlie and the chocolate factory yeah. and stuff like that you know eating candy and falling into chocolate rivers and stuff yeah. yeah yeah that that's she's <laughs> that was that was good stuff yeah. that was literature um okay so i'm looking at the cast of the outsiders there was well, not, the, not the movie. I'm talking about the book. Well, it's based on the book, though. So I'm well, thinking that these. I can't believe there's... you were a librarian. <laughs> well, I figured I wouldn't be able to look at the book and necessarily get a list. No, of that's characters. true. Yeah, yeah. So Rob Lowe played somebody called Soap Curtis. Mm. That's what. That's what um, Spencer should start calling Curtis. So Curtis. <laughs> to endear him. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, Trina could call him that because he's her. Pop. Yeah, soda pop soda Curtis. Pop that Curtis. would be. Wouldn't that be cute? That, that would, would be, be kind of cute. cute. She could totally get away with that. Would you um, flip if they started doing that on the show? <laughs> then we would know. We would there had to be that. some sort of yeah. a thread from here to there. Yeah. yeah, that might be the best idea we've had so far. Maybe. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm specifically looking for a character called Eminem. Well, there's or maybe he was eating M and M's. I don't know. <laughs> there's <laughs> Keith Two Bit. Hmm, let's see, it's abbreviated here. Keith Two Bit. Just Keith Two Bit. <laughs> All right. Uh, there's hmm, Dar Daryl, Johnny Cade, Dallas Winston. Yeah, I don't mm. see any M and M. That's all right. I, I think it's some other novel that I'm going to have to think of. It was mainly okay. about drugs, but anyway, yeah, okay. those were all pretty dark things. Mm -hmm. People usually died. Somebody would die tragically. Combine yeah. that with some of the music, like that. Was it a Phoebe Snow song that, hmm. like that, about the teenage girl at home while everybody else was out dating and having fun? Was that Phoebe Snow or is that a different? Or one? like. Janice Ian or somebody like that. Oh, maybe at seventeen, that. that song. Yeah, yes, at seventeen. God, what a freaking downer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's what yeah. we were listening to while we read these dark novels. Yeah, that's true, Gia. Gosh. Huh. Mm. Oh well. That was Janice out of it. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What was the big Phoebe Snow hit? I'm thinking of. Uh, let's see. I feel like we had this conversation on here before. I feel like we did too. <laughs> uh, oh, and then Minnie Ripperton came into it. Uh, Phoebe Snow. Let's see. Uh, I think I'm thinking Poetry Man. Poetry Man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Minnie Ripperton. What was she? Was she? The, yeah. Like, uh, Did she loving you or, or something like that? Oh yeah, yeah. I went up into that high like rabbit. Yeah, thing. yeah, right. yeah. <laughs> we did talk about this before. Sorry, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> this happens. This happens a lot. Yeah. <laughs> everybody, about, everybody yeah. listening feels like Comet yeah. the horse right now. They're like, oh yeah, my no. god, <laughs> I'm trapped. But, you know, deja vu can be so easily explained away. It's not deja vu. It's just dying brain cells, you know. You, yeah. you, you have done that before, and you have talked about that before. Uh -huh. and, you know, yeah. All that yeah. stuff. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Right. Yeah. 
All right. So okay, bring us back to General Hospital. Work, work your magic. Oh gosh. Do we have anything else interesting to talk about there? Um. Well, I I don't know. I, it's hard to get interested in Curtis and Portia. Curtis seemed a little lighter, he, maybe. He was a little bit looser, yeah. A little but bit. she was kind of like, you know, like, like, where are we? You know, and it's, it's been like a day. <laughs> I don't right, know. You know. Right, right. Yeah. Seems like, he's not going to be able to answer that right away. Portia. Yeah. And uh, yeah, the shit's just going to hit the fan when all the Jordan stuff comes out. It'll be good. It'll be good. Yeah, it would, it would be good, probably. Yeah. Yeah. And I do think that's when he's just going to run off and join the WSB and be gone. Hmm. That's a good Come question, on. Gia. Be gone. <laughs> I mean, they I definitely know. laid that little seed. They planted mm-hmm. that seed in the plot. Yeah. Line. Yeah. There, you, there would be some some use for that if they're going to call or, attention. Or maybe they're to just doing, think. just trying to come up with an out for everybody to take their summer vacation. Maybe. You know, Laura and Kevin, Chechnya. Yeah, Chechnya. Yeah. <laughs> Curtis, WSB. Mm-hmm. Um, Marshall well, moving. <laughs> yeah, Marshall's moving. Anna, uh, Anna and Valentine, they're off somewhere, right? Did they leave? Do they go Did somewhere? they leave or something? Or she's being arrested, right? Like, uh, oh, well, well, no, she didn't. Somehow she got out of it because she threatened, I think, oh. to spill more secrets, right? But did Valentine say he was going to go to Chechnya? <laughs> was that Chechnya something to do? <laughs> Well, they're taking Yuri. They're taking Yuri. Right. And maybe I'm thinking of <laughs> something he's not a else. between jobs. <laughs> it would be a lovely place for him and Anna to get away, you know. <laughs> I don't know, but Chechnya I feel like we're very gonna, romantic. Yeah, Chechnya in the summer. Um, with the, with the, uh, the rambling roses and the I don't cherry know. Cherry blossoms. The cherry blossoms <laughs> and the Chechnyan cocktails. And I don't know what those would be. And the borscht. The borscht. <laughs> <laughs> no idea. My ignorance is <laughs> you know. Oh, dear. But I like thinking of them all heading off to Chechnya. Yeah. And then. They'll probably have some sort of B team covering the summer for us, you know. Oh like yeah, bring yeah. some other storylines to the forefront, perhaps. Uh huh. That could be good, I guess. I guess. Although I little little Sasha's going to have to take off, right? So. Right, Sasha. I mean, I didn't think they could find a bigger handbag, but they did. They did. You know, <laughs> it was up to her chin. <laughs> She's, she should start just carrying a garment bag. <laughs> Yeah, that would be a good idea. Like, I picked up my dry cleaning and I don't want to let go of it. That would be good. (laughs) But yeah, they're going to, they're going to have her take off in disgust or something. Yeah, I hope, I hope nothing bad happens to her. I hope she finds out about Gladys and, you know, decides to take a vacation or something. Right. Yeah. Clear her head somewhere. Yeah. 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 I I would like it if her storyline was more present but obviously they can't Mm -hmm. do that for a little while yeah Um, Mm -hmm. but and and once again like we've how much have we seen willow in the past week barely at all i know barely at all so i i don't know why willowing away in her room there yeah i don't don't get that it seems like they could have like filmed a bunch of scenes with just her you know or her and, and the, we still don't know about that mysterious yeah, the nurse mystery what is that was. Nurse. Yeah, it just seems obnoxious. like yeah, she was awful. But um, it just seems like it's very hard to really care about Willow when you sort of forget about her her situation. Right, you know? right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, and we should at least see her. I don't know, pondering all that she discussed with the horrible nurse. Yeah. <laughs> like, what's the aftermath of that conversation? Yeah, That's or crazy. just asking Michael, did you run into that horrible nurse? Yeah, that. Horrible <laughs> you know, nurse could you make actually. sure that I, horrible nurse never comes back? Yeah, wouldn't it be funny if the nurse was an imposter of some kind or something? Yeah, yeah. Uh huh. I think that would be the best psycho explanation. So somebody escaped from the psych ward. That's what I no, said we in were... one of our summaries. <laughs> oh, you did? Oh. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Great minds think alike, or not, yeah, or, or not. not. <laughs> think at all. 
<laughs> the hamsters, hamsters running back and forth between yeah. your wheel and mine. The hamsters like just like laying flat sideways <laughs> on the wheel. Oh, well, but I feel like we've exhausted. General I think Costa we have, yeah. and I don't. I don't have any real feedback on on bar shampoo i have no no i'm about out i'm i will stock up when when i'm in your neighborhood at your grocery okay. store yeah I'm, i still like it i kind of like I it do too i use it like i use it all week long and then i'll use a bottle shampoo one day and then i'll you know uh -huh. i feel like it doesn't i feel like it doesn't leave as much on my hair as a bottle shampoos do or something like yeah. it's less it's less stripping or something maybe uh-huh yeah okay I i'm probably making all that up but i don't know gia i don't know but yeah i like well, it they too smell good. they smell pretty yeah good. yeah uh-huh so so yeah yeah know. we don't have much we don't have a new outside topic uh, i was supposed to think about whether or not the the u.s like the best thing to come out of the u.s is television oh that's right yeah and um I was wondering about if other stuff like could it be food items like the whoopie pie or you know. <laughs> oh well I I'm not gonna say anything bad about a whoopie pie um yeah some good food I guess although you know we have a lot of heart disease <laughs> and stuff in, in the U S so well, we maybe not the healthiest it had food. to be something that you know was yeah good for yeah. you we didn't talk about yeah uh -huh. results we don't know if TV Lots is of good for you yeah it has to be a lot it? of people argue it's not <laughs> it just has to be I oh my god eight, eight er's today <laughs> good thing. no I yeah haven't. um uh, um oh maybe music we we produce good music. oh yeah too. jazz mm -hmm. and blues and yeah all kinds of stuff like all that. kinds of music yeah um yeah i think um, there's some good stuff. just that general uh, uh american attitude yeah, the can-do yeah, spirit. Yeah, that. <laughs> do we do we're we have that? Of that? <laughs> are we are we from away? <laughs> <laughs> from away. Um, but yeah, but no, television's good. I but I can't really say that with any, um, uh, any like real assurance that it's true because i don't know about television from any other countries yeah I that's true i mean there might be fabulous well we know a little bit about british television you know yeah we do like yeah the america kind of stuff yep but also we've we and i guess it goes both ways like we've borrowed like this is from other shows in other countries and sort of made an american version of them you know right so, like like the office kind of right so maybe yeah. that's a sign that i yeah british tv is definitely good i love british tv i like a lot of british tv yeah 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 so so yeah there could be other countries doing good tv too we just wouldn't understand any of the rest of the countries because <laughs> because we're yeah. so ignorant we only know one language you know which, yeah which is really i mean i can't believe you know you other countries they know like two or three languages you know and we i know i it always amazes me when you hear somebody who yeah like somebody who speaks english as a second language and they're way more articulate than most yeah. americans that's always very yeah. impressive to me and also yeah. you know makes me feel like god yeah, yeah <laughs> we're awful <laughs> you know i know so, yeah i'm feeling I know. bad about myself today also because i checked out I'm trying to learn a little bit about music theory. And so I checked out this uh -huh. complete idiot's guide about music. Uh -huh. You know, yeah. one of the idiot's books. Yeah. I don't know what, what idiots, like I, I need like a sub, like even <laughs> below, like, like the, the idiots, idiots, idiots guy. Uh -huh. is what I uh -huh. need apparently. Cause I'm like, Oh my God, this is so complicated. I mean, uh -huh. if this is the idiot's guide, I, mean, I can't <laughs> imagine like the actual grown up version. of Yeah. Uh huh. Stuff. It, it may be too late for me. Maybe, gee, I mean, you've managed this this far to come this far without knowing. Yeah, but you realize the further you get into something, whatever field you're in, like you start, you realize, like, oh my god, like I can't uh -huh. believe I was out doing stuff as much uh -huh. of an idiot as I am. 
<laughs> my the level of ignorance is appalling on my uh, part. Oh, and, uh, but anyway, I thought, well, oh, this will be good. So what's the other? <laughs> there's a complete idiot's guide, and then there's also the like there's the dumb, dummies. Dummies? The dummies. The dummies. Yeah. Maybe I'll try uh -huh. a dum dummies next. Maybe I'm more uh -huh. of a dummy. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a fun poll <laughs> are we idiots or are we dummies <laughs> i don't know which is a lower level <laughs> but i definitely need stuff dumbed down a little bit more so uh-huh <laughs> idiots seem more annoying than dummies maybe i'm just a fool like do they have a fool's <laughs> 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 guide to music theory <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway, gosh. Anyway. Yeah. Oh gee. Well, okay, well, we'll watch some more General Hospital. A few things yeah. are moving up. Uh yeah. I and I we still don't know how many episodes are yeah, left. It I seems I like haven't gotten any information on that. Did you? No, and I've I've tried and I can't seem to find anything. Maybe they're just gonna just start liberally preempting them to just help help extend Have it, you know. Whatever, whatever. Give us like just yeah. two episodes a week for longer. I think I'd almost like that better than having, you know, a full week and then nothing. You know what I mean? That's true, yeah. String us along for a while. Yeah, yeah, that'd be mm -hmm. fine. But we'll see, Gia. We're a little yeah, bit that's... pathetic, aren't we? <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> I don't know what we'll do. <laughs> I, I think we know exactly what we'll do. <laughs> I've got ER. So I know we'll start yeah. watching eight episodes a day. I, yes. I had... I had it on in the background when I was doing some work on over the weekend, and I I think I did watch five episodes, and I I am totally oh addicted God. to it now. Yeah, it's very addictive, isn't it? They yeah, bust through yeah. those doors. You're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we got to save some of this in case we need oh, okay, it. Okay, <laughs> in case we do need to talk about it. Okay. But who the yeah. hell would listen to something about a show from a million years ago? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if You'll anybody does, <laughs> or if it's if it's at when we jump the shark. <laughs> oh no! I don't want to jump the shark. Okay. No. All right. Well, okay. this was fun. Thanks, anybody yeah. who is listening, and uh, yes, thank you. And everybody, just cross your fingers. We'll keep having yeah. the general hospital. Yeah. 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 Okay, Gia. All right. We'll talk to you soon. Have a good night. You too. Bye bye. Bye.